tonight I thought that I would read you your horoscope for February of 2018 as it's about to start and even if you don't necessarily believe in astrology I find that it's nice to hear your horoscope and you tend to bring it with you through your day-to-day -day life and keep it in the back of your mind and it kind of just can hope, help to open your mind to your life and the way that you live and if your horoscope was positive then you might inadvertently try to make it come true or if it wasn't so good then you might um, do whatever you can to keep it from happening so it can honestly be a good way I find to just keep yourself in check in terms of the way that you live your life and it kind of does help you live your best life I found so I am going to be reading from my phone here I hope you don't mind um, I have tried to think of things that I could do but I just can't memorize it <laughs> so yeah I will be reading from my phone so first sign here is Aries, 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 Aries. As Mars, your guardian angel planet, moves into ambitious, responsible, disciplined, success-oriented Capricorn, where he is very much at home. On the 6th, you will find it easier to take steps up the mountain of your dreams. Your usual modus operandi is to pursue your passions and desires spontaneously and without much forethought. Mars in Capricorn adds pr practicality and organization to your bold, daring, and courageous pioneering nature. As you take each step of the mountain patiently, not your strong suit for sure, securing your footing every step of the way with determination and conviction, you are assured that you will reach the top. As fiery Aries and earthy Capricorn are both initiating signs, you're impossible to stop once you get going. It doesn't get any better than an Aries sun with a clearly defined plan and the commitment to implement it. Next is Taurus. Taurus, 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 Taurus. It's time to plant seeds and decide what you want to create in your career as the new moon in Aquarius is in your 10th house. While you do value your physical and emotional comforts above all else, this new moon triggers the part of you that's ready to make changes that are long overdue. And you know how you love changes, just kidding. <laughs> You know better than anyone else that it takes a lot for you to make changes that disturb your sense of comfort. But when you do, there's no stopping you, kind of like a steamroller or mag truck. What adds to this need to bust out of what confines and restricts you is that Venus, your guardian angel planet, is also cycling in Aquarius now. Your eccentric friends encourage you to drop all pretenses and be who you really are, even if it means challenging the status quo and upsetting the apple cart. Gemini, 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 Gemini. Mars, the planet of passion and action, travels in the relationship arena of your chart. 
Invest your resources in what you truly believe in. While there may be disagreements and arguments in your most intimate relationships, especially where you or those closest to you are not being responsible for their lives, there is also the opportunity for greater honesty and intimacy if you're willing to be honest and call it as you see it. If you've been wanting to clear the air, this is the time. And with the Virgo full moon on the 23rd in your house of home and family, you'll have greater clarity and awareness about what it takes to make you feel safe and secure as you renew contact with family you may have been estranged from. Be open to their love and support, especially when it is unexpected. Cancer, 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 cancer. You are the most vulnerable sign in the zodiac and you hate to rock the boat in your relationships for fear of rejection and abandonment. The key with Saturn retrograde in Cancer is to consciously decide to be your own mother and father and to know that you can decide to always be there for your inner child. It's up to you now whether your inner child feels loved or wounded. Leave the past in the past. It's important to remember that as Mars, the planet of action, travels in your seventh house, the relationship arena, after the sixth, which he only does every two years, that you have the opportunity to stand for what you most want in your relationships. And while confrontation might not always feel comfortable, because you think it threatens your security, you will feel more self-confident and self-empowered if you stand up for yourself. Leo, Leo. Leo, 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 Leo. It's time to recreate your relationships with the new moon in Aquarius on the 8th in your partnership house. With Venus, the planet of love and appreciation, also in your 7th house, look at what you most value in your one-on-one connections. You may find that what once attracted you no longer does. Or, on the other hand, you may feel attracted to something or someone brand new. The sun, your guardian angel planet, follow, flows into Pisces on the 18th, highlighting the part of your chart where you merge your energies with others at the deepest levels, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, financially, be direct, straightforward, and honest with those closest to you. This is the time to be on top of the table with what you're willing to give and what you want to get from your most intimate alliances. Virgo, 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 Virgo. Virgo. Your communication mellows, O oh critic of the universe, when Mercury, your guardian angel planet, flows into Pisces, your opposite sign, on the 16th. Rather than analyzing every last detail, it's time to trust and go with the flow, especially in your relationships, as Venus, the planet of love, also cycles into Pisces and your relationship house on the 26th. The Virgo-Pisces polarity becomes even more apparent at the Virgo full moon on the 23rd. Full moons are about striking the balance between opposites, and the balance between Virgo and Pisces is the need to analyze and figure it out versus the need to trust and take it on faith. At its highest expression, Virgo brings earth to heaven 
and Pisces brings heaven to earth. This full moon provides clarity for you to decide where you need to hold on and where you're willing to let go. Libra, 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 Libra. You'll feel a breath of fresh air as Venus, your guardian angel planet, leaves reserved, serious, conventional Capricorn and cycles into unique, ingenious, one-of-a-kind Aquarius on the second. All your kooky, eclectic friends come out of the woodwork now and you love it, as they mirror that part of you that wants to challenge convention. On the first, Jupiter, the planet of growth and expansion, which has been your sign since September 24th, 2017, will begin its four-month retrograde cycle. What a fabulous opportunity for you, dear Libra, to reflect on and reevaluate all your relationships, beginning with your relationship with yourself. And not just relationships with others, but your relationship to work, to money, to your health, car, etc., and most importantly now, it's time to restore balance between your loving adult and your loved child. After all, you are in this lifetime to create balance, harmony, and teamwork, and you exemplify that we are all teaching what we most need to learn. Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. Scorpion, snake or eagle, it's your choice. Dear Scorpio, how you express your power and magic. Mars, your guardian angel planet, cycles into organized, responsible Capricorn on the 6th. The pragmatic, earthy energy of Capricorn combined with your focused intensity can create anything. What, with the sun in Aquarius in the house of emotional foundation until the 18th, Venus entering that house on the 2nd and the new moon on the 8th, you may find yourself pulling back from the world to cocoon and probe the depths of your psyche for a change. Embrace thoughts and memories of the past, knowing that you can create a new life of greater passion by transforming any negative emotional baggage you may still be carrying. And nobody understands you better than you. As A Course in Miracles says, all your past except its beauty is gone and nothing is left but a blessing. Sagittarius, 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 Sagittarius. With Jupiter, your guardian angel planet, coming to a screeching halt and beginning its four-month retrograde cycle on the first, you may wonder why your usual exuberance and enthusiasm is down to a trickle. Most of the time, it's easy for you to see the glass as half full because you know there is meaning and purpose in everything. But the message now for you from the universe is to dig deeper inside as you seek to understand what your life is all about. With Mercury after the 16th, the Sun after the 18th, and Venus after the 26th, all flowing in idealistic, intuitive Pisces in your house of emotional foundation, you will find most of your answers at home and in interactions with family, whether in the body or not. While you usually love the freedom to travel, the wide open spaces, most of your travel will probably be internal now. 
Lead, follow, or get out of my way could be your mantra now. As Mars, the planet of drive and initiative, reports for duty in your sign on the 6th, which he only does every two years. As the initiating earth sign, you are usually full of get up and go to climb your mountain of success. But now, you are literally unstoppable. When Mars is in your sign, it's time to become one with your passion. Nothing less will do. Be aware that you could easily run over others now in your desire to reach your goals. With the Sun, Venus, and the New Moon all in Aquarius, which defies convention and challenges the status quo, in your house of resources, money, time, raw materials, you may depart somewhat from your usual reserved, serious way of doing things because you decide there is a more innovative way to use your talents and your resources. Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. Aquarius. This is your month to shine, O oh lover of brotherhood and humanity, the time of every year when you begin your journey of life all over again. Take time to love and appreciate you for a change before you go out and enhance the quality of life for everyone else, with Venus, the planet of love, entering your sign on the second. Appreciate your unique unique way of looking at the world and your desires to make changes that benefit all. At the new moon in Aquarius on the 8th, plant seeds to have the courage to revolutionize your life so that it reflects your one-of-a-kind nature. Before you can make the dreams for a better world come true, it's important to know what makes you happy. You function best in communities where everyone is encouraged to be who they really are. If you're not part of one, use this new moon energy to create one. Pisces, 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 Pisces. You may not be clear which ocean you're swimming in as Jupiter, one of your guardian angel planets begins its four-month retrograde cycle on the first. Normally, you are reflective and introspective by nature, but you may really feel like nesting and cocooning as you allow yourself to let go of the whole last year before your birthday. You'll feel more at home in your skin as the sun returns to your sign on the 18th. And with Mercury, the planet of communication, flowing into your sign on the 16th, and Venus, the planet of love, on the 26th, the whole universe will feel like your backyard. Your intuitive sensitivity to others will be heightened now, which means it's even more important to set personal boundaries while you also remain open to others. Remember, dear Pisces, you feel everybody's stuff, so love it, bless it, and then let it go. So that was all of the signs and your horoscope for February 2018. Let me know what you thought about yours. I thought mine was quite interesting. I am Scorpio, and I hope that you are able to keep that in the back of your mind as you go through February and see whether you want that to happen, whether you'll make it happen or not. So, thank you so much for watching tonight's 